Hey, sleepyheads. I'm doing uh, some comic reviews here. Uh, this week I picked up Wonder Woman number 18 and America! Fuck yeah! Uh, one, number one. And let's get to Wonder Woman uh, number 18 because this is the new book that came out this week. And it's by Greg Rucka. And who's the artist on this one? Uh, Bilquis <laughs> Evely. I uh, apologize if I just butchered that name. I apologize. And we're picking up with the God Watch story. Now, uh, Veronica Kale had previously had her daughter's face stolen <laughs> by uh, two gods who want her to find out where Thermoscara is. And she's going, well, cool, hey, ask Wonder Woman. Uh, and they know that Wonder Woman doesn't know. The information has been taken out of her mind for protection. And let's see, so they're just going to plan B. Like, okay, you need to go get it. You need to get that information from her. Uh, we open also with her friend who who uh, had, she had her bot brain connected to this cybernetic body that was... Uh, uh, attacking like Wonder Woman and of course uh, that body got destroyed with her mind still connected to it so it killed her but it was able to upload uh, her braid so she kind of has her braid in this sort of a computer simulation right now uh, and I love how she goes well I'm Dr. Cyber now I'm like like did she have that name kind of just sit in her head like oh you know if I die and become a hologram you know, Dr. Cyber, I think, would be a good name for me. Um, but this is a new origin for, obviously, the villain, Dr. Cyber. And it's kind of cool, like, she's got this connection to Kale. I really like that uh, Greg Ruck is kind of taking advantage of the fact that, you know, he can uh, reboot the history so he can properly uh, place retroactively um, Veronica Kale deeper into her history and a little more, you know, grounded and connected to some other characters. Uh, as evil and as horrible Kale is, I mean, I have to feel pretty bad for her. I mean, her daughter is this faceless, creepy mannequin that's just sitting around all the time. Uh, really can't do anything. I kind of feel bad, mostly bad, feel bad for her, her daughter. But uh, it, that, that can't be fun. Uh, although, of course, you know, she is harboring more of this hatred for Wonder Woman, which she didn't like anyway. Like, it's not Wonder Woman's fault, really. <laughs> That's when she cuts this deal with uh, with Minerva, and of course this deal ends up turning her into the cheetah, uh, which is pretty bad because now she and Wonder Woman have each lost something uh, as we grow closer and closer to the conclusion of this story. Uh, we're still doing the whole, uh, you know, we're uh, going back and forth between present day and origins while he's building this up. I'm curious how long he's going to be doing this alternating process. It's kind of interesting so far. Uh, now that I've kind of gotten used to it. Um, so uh, what did you guys think? I like this one a lot. This is, uh, I'm going to give this one uh, four to five ramp chips. And number one, America. Uh, unfortunately, fuck yeah, it was not doable. Uh, this is Miss M uh, America. And this actually came out, I believe, two weeks ago. But I've had so many people recommend this to me. I just, uh, it's like, eh, whatever. Let me just get it. And uh, I liked it quite a bit. It is from uh, Gabby Rivera and uh, Joe Quinsones. Uh, sorry if I messed up your name. Uh, I actually admittedly don't know too much about Miss America. I know she's been part of the um, Young Avengers. And I know she's been with the new Ultimates team. I didn't know that she was the leader of the Ultimates team. Because uh, I always assumed it was either Captain Marvel or or Black Panther. Uh, but it does, I guess, make kind of sense. Because each of those characters have a lot of responsibility. You know, one's a king of a country. And, you know, the other one is in charge of uh, the space force that's protecting uh, Earth. So, yeah, I guess they have a lot on their plate. So that actually does kind of make sense to give leadership to somebody else. And... I wasn't aware that she is, uh, her parents were from another, uh, universe and died protecting the whole multiverse, uh, which is quite sad. And we opened with her kind of leading a mission, protecting like this other planet or something like that. 
Uh, she comes home and uh, everything looks cool between her and her girlfriend, but they break up because uh, they're kind of going their separate ways and her girlfriend doesn't want to go with her. So it's not a pleasant breakup, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but what she does is she goes to this super college, the Centimeor uh, University, uh, named after, uh, obviously, the uh, Supreme Court judge, which is pretty cool. I wonder if she knows about this. And, yeah, Marvel, I've been noticing something recently in the last couple of years of Marvel. Um, it seems like the floodgates have been opening with the technology that a lot of the superheroes and villains have been using and not really sharing with the rest of the world. Uh, I've been noticing that's kind of been happening lately, that, you know, it looks like the super technology is becoming more and more accessible to the general public, which I think is actually a great idea. And it only makes sense, because if that stuff really did exist, yeah, people would be building teleporters in their garage. Um, let's see, that's when she meets this guy, uh, Prodigy, who was a former mutant. And... By the way, I'm I'm looking forward to more mutants. Uh, I'm really, really over this whole feud that Marvel's been having. That's been kind of hurting their own brand in their comic books. I'm not not really a fan of that uh, because let's face it, um, <laughs> the Inhumans is never replacing the X Men. The end. Um, he starts her on this journey uh, through realities, <laughs> which ends her uh, punching Hitler uh, somehow. Uh, so not a bad issue. Uh, pretty enjoyable. I kind of uh, dig the character. I kind of dig the character uh, quite a bit. Um, I, uh, I let's see. I like the book. I'm, it's not a huge strong start story wise, uh, but it's a decent uh, introduction to the character. And that she seems like she's kind of going through a crossroads in her life, and uh, you know she's kind of cutting ties where she needs to. And uh, yeah, not a bad. By the way. Extra points for an awesome cover. I really love this cover. I love, like, a good pose for your first issue, a good iconic kind of pose. And this one's excellent. This knocks it out of the park, I think. Uh, I love the shades. Uh, the kind you can buy at a cheap uh, tourist attraction store. Uh, yeah, the, these are exact same kind of glasses. Um, dig the costume, the look, the smile. It looks great. Uh, I'm going to give that one four RAM chips. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the series, but uh, I definitely see what people are digging. It's a really good uh, book. Uh, yeah, if you like the character, or if you want to read something new or interesting, uh, definitely it's worth a look. Uh, I think that's it for now, so I'll be talking to you later uh, next week with some more comics, and I have some uh, other new uh, videos coming up, uh, non-comic related and stuff, so I'll talk to you then. Uh, don't forget to uh, push the uh, button for like liking or subscribing and don't forget to check out my links I have a patreon and stuff. All right, push the button Lindsay I can't update nobody likes me <laughs>